Okay, digestive system. We have here the oral cavity, you know, the mouth, which of course has accessory structures that consist of the teeth for mechanical digestion, the tongue, also for mechanical digestion because it helps mix food or move food in the mouth. And then you have your uh, salivary glands. We see here the sublingual below the tongue, the submandibular below the mandible, and then somewhere here, which is not in this model, is your large parotid gland just next to the um, masseter muscle. Next, so from the mouth, food goes down to the pharynx or the throat, and then it molds. So let's see if we can use this one. Yep. So that's your pharynx, specifically the oropharynx, and then it moves down the esophagus. Note that the esophagus is posterior to your trachea. So let's go back over here. Uh, this is your esophagus. It's a muscular tube. It does look like muscle compared to the cartilage of the trachea. And then it pierces the diaphragm, okay? So that it becomes or it opens up to the, let me take this liver out first, the stomach, okay? So let's take out the stomach. And you could see here the different parts of the stomach. We have the, uh, the uh, fundus of the stomach which is the dome of the stomach. This is your cardioesophageal junction, the junction between the esophagus and the stomach. The lesser curve, and then the greater curve. The antrum is right here, and then it ends in the pylorus right there, which is a sphincter, as you can see right there, okay? So I'm taking out the stomach, so now we could see the beginning of the small intestine. So. That's the stomach and it's connected right there. That's the duodenum, the first part of the small intestines. It's a very important C-shape. Very important because that is where you have the secretions of your pancreas right there. It opens up, there's a duct right here that opens up to the duodenum. And also up here, you have your liver, which is made up of a right lobe and left lobe. The gallbladder is right here. Um, there are ducts that collect bile from the right lobe and the left lobe. We call them the hepatic ducts. Together, the two hepatic ducts make the um, common hepatic duct. This is the gallbladder, which concentrates and stores bile formed by the liver. It has a cystic duct. The cystic duct plus the common hepatic duct from the liver will give you the common bile duct right here. And the common bile duct will, of course, also empty into the duodenum. So that duodenum will receive secretions from the pancreas and the liver up here. Okay, so after the duodenum right here, which by the way is at the back of the peritoneum, it's a retroperitoneal organ, you will see the rest of your intestines, okay? So you have about a few more feet of jejunum, and then the most distal end of your small intestine is your ilium, and we're gonna flip it. Uh, we don't see anything, but just to show you the end of that ilium right there, okay? That's the end of your ilium, which will basically become this. That's your ilium and your ilium enters the first part of your large intestine, which is your cecum. Let's see if we can open that up. Right there, so this is your cecum. No? Ilium and cecum, this is your ileocecal sphincter, okay? And if we take that out, we might be able to see the, oh, right here, we can see the appendix. It's a worm-like structure that uh, you know, comes out of the cecum. No? It's called a vestigial, vermiform vestigial organ because it's worm-like and pretty useless, okay? This is your ascending colon because it's going up, ascending large intestines. This is your transverse colon because it's going across. And this right here is your descending colon because it's going down, okay? Also here you have the uh, hepatic flexure this is where it flexes at the liver. That's why it's called hepatic flexure. This is the splenic flexure because it flexes at the spleen. So descending once again, this is letter S. It's a letter S, so that's your sigmoid colon. And then let's take out that large intestine. 
So you'll be able to see the last of our digestive canal, or alimentary canal, which is the rectum right there. And of course, all the way down there is the anus. That's it, the digestive system.